So Portugal opened up their campaign today in the Euros by beating Hungary 3-0. Huge ritual again, and of course it involved Cristiano Ronaldo. So they win 3-0, it's 0-0 after 84 minutes, and then Rafael Guerrero opens the scoring, and then Portugal scores three goals in eight minutes. Nobody questions how this game was 0-0 for 84 minutes, and then Portugal scored three in eight minutes. Well, I do question that. So, number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo, is now the highest scoring player in European Championship history after scoring a brace today versus Hungary to take his all-time tally in the competition to 11. So, check this out. He made his debut 17 years ago in 2004. And 17 is the seventh prime. He is the first player to play in five Euros. And 11 is the fifth prime. Just notice this. That Portugal had 11 shots today and Hungary had five. They do so many rituals, guys. Look how Portugal had seven shots on target. 70% possession. They're either making up these stats or it's magic. Simple as that. Ronaldo now has 106 goals for Portugal. See here, he has 106 goals. Portugal equals 106. And again, if you do 1 plus 6, it gets you 7. CR7. A record-setting day. So he broke a lot of records today. In addition to the aforementioned records, Ronaldo also set a pair of other marks with his double in Budapest. So check this out, I've shown you here how Portugal scored three goals in eight minutes. 92 minus 84 gets you eight. Well, look at this, Portugal equals 38. And Portugal in the opening game scored three goals in the last eight minutes. Also notice how three plus eight equals 11. And Ronaldo ended this game with 11 goals so far in the Euros. At 36 years, 130 days, Ronaldo became oldest player to score for Portugal at a major tournament, breaking the record set by Pepe at the World Cup in 2018, where Pepe was 35 years old, 124 days. Pepe is clearly a huge Jesuit as well. Played at Real Madrid together. It's just so clear. It's just so clear with eyes to see and common sense and critical thinking skills and not being a brain dead zombie that these sports are rigged. And it's becoming clearer and clearer and clearer every day now that even the biggest clown in the world should be able to notice what's going on. The Juve star also became the oldest player to score at least two goals in a European Championship match, breaking the record set by Andrei Shevchenko when he was 35 years old, 256 days. Again, Shevchenko, the little Ukrainian Jesuit. Portugal's late blitz, which also included an 84th minute opener from Rafael Guerrero, meant they are now the first side to score three or more goals in the last 10 minutes of a Euros match. So they have to put in another 10 ritual, throw in the number three, and then the 84 guys, how many times have I discussed that number? Pope Francis, the Jesuit Pope is 84 years old. The Jesuit order equals 84, Jesuit equals 84. This is C Biscuit's comment, I'm just reading it now. The age between Ronaldo and Messi and their sons are exactly the same. Yep, I did a video on that. Did a video on that. Check it out, guys. But good stuff, Seabiscuit. This guy's a legend. Guys, what, what more do you want here? I did a really solid video about England's 1-0 victory. And this, this game. Guys, they scored three goals in the last eight minutes in an international game. What happened? These guys got tired. These international players got tired. Come on, it's all ritual. Yeah, throw him a penalty towards the end as well. By the way, the penalty was his 10th goal in the Euros. My word, penalty equals 33.
it's, it's just a joke. It really is an absolute joke. It's just all ritual. And day after day, I provide this content, which just seems to be getting better, to be honest, because I put more and more work into it. And again, more people leaving incredible comments. Look here, how I have seven notifications. I love that organic element. I truly love it. Seven notifications. But this bit, three goals in the last eight minutes and Portugal equals 38. This is also the death number as well. There's all these death numbers appearing. And again, if you watch my video about Ericsson, that was just a disgusting ritual connected to the Bible. The fall of the Christians, basically with Christian Erickson. And again, they're saying what he had issues with his heart. Cardiac arrest or something like that, I read. I didn't really go into it in detail, but it's connected to his heart. And he's born on Valentine's Day, February the 14th, which is highly connected to hearts. Just, we're getting mocked and people continue to almost enjoy being mocked. Well, I don't. I'm gonna keep revealing this deception. I really am. I once had a shirt, a Man United shirt with Ronaldo on the back. My word, if I still had it, I would burn it. So there we have it guys, Ronaldo breaks Euro record.